Okay, this is the first exercise we did together in class, exercise 3.3, and it has um, two scatter plots in here for printing costs and travel costs. And you have the actual solution is down here, okay, out of the textbook. Um, but well, there are a couple things to notice here, and one of the things we talked about was how important the relevant range was. <coughs> Excuse me, when you come up with a cost function for this, it's only really um, relevant, say, for printing costs, from 40 to, say, 90 clients. Okay, if you go beyond that, you, you know, you, you don't really know what those numbers are going to be. And the other kind of smart thing that the book says is that it asks if this is linear or not. And um, one of the things they say is that if you had, say, everybody in the class drew a line through there, would the lines be similar? And you could say, yeah, they would be, okay? So it is, it is generally, it is a, it does exhibit linearity. That's what you would say. Okay. And then for um, travel costs, this is definitely linear. Okay, you can see just it's probably a closer approximation because the the um, data points would be pretty close to the line if not right on it. Okay, it's got some variation, but but not that much. All right, and then the last thing they wanted to the last is sort of a fluff question. This represents the first seven months of activity using either of these trends. Um, to predict future printing co or travel costs, what other information would you want at all? And have they picked up more customers? All right, are people moving to electronic stuff? Is there room to grow in the market? Okay. Um, is our gasoline price gonna, going to affect travel? Okay, they, they've got, there's a big list in the solution, but, but what you're really learning from this is how to decide whether or not it exhibits linearity and if um, and what the significance of that relevant range is. Okay.